The Auto Fit feature makes it easy to incorporate real ear measurements to a Rexton First Fit. Start by connecting an REM system to the computer and detecting the hearing aids in the connects. If only the First Fit button is shown, open Preferences and under Devices select REM Device slash Modules and click to select the device from the list. Then, go to Curve Display and open the View Mode settings. You can choose to see Gain or Output Curve. Afterwards, the Auto Fit button becomes available on the bottom right of the window. Follow the first fit flow. Proper acoustical parameter selection is crucial for a good auto fit performance, especially for low frequency match to targets. Critical gain is recommended, but not a mandatory step. AutoFit offers to use manufacturer's proprietary prescription formula, which are not supported in commercial probe measurement systems. When clicking Auto Fit, a first fit is automatically applied to the hearing aids to set gain and compression as required by the selected prescription formula for average ear canal dimensions. The first step to perform Auto Fit is the tube calibration. Set the probe tube as usual and click Start. This is a mandatory step to assure a correct measurement. Insert the probe tube to user's ear canal and switch to the REUG tab. Select either a statistical adult REUG or measure the REUG individually. Statistical REUG can be used in most cases for adult clients. Insert hearing aids, keeping the probe tube in the same position and click Auto Fit. Click Start by Neuro to adjust the 65 dB SPL curve to target. After a first initial measurement to obtain deviations, corrections are applied to the hearing aid settings and a second measurement is started to verify the curve matches 65 dB targets. Open Verification to measure 55 dB and 80 dB input curves. Select 55 input level from the drop-down box and click Start by Neural button to start low input level verification measurement. Select 80 input level from the drop-down box and click Start by Neural button to start loud input level verification measurement. If the results appear within an acceptable tolerance range from the targets, Tick the checkbox, keep auto fit result, and click the close button. Notice that the first fit got an orange check mark, indicating it successfully completed.